Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 29. In this episode, we're going to start off by selling some pigs. We're going to sell off a lot of pigs. We're going to try and get our pigs down to, we'll try and get some sort of order in the pigs. We are sitting at a full house of pigs, a thousand pigs at the moment. We're going to sell off some of them try and recoup some money and just try and work out a system of how we're going to do it. I haven't quite worked out how it's going to be most efficient but we'll see it just as soon as we finish feeding, putting some food in for them. We'll go and have a look at it and we'll spend a few minutes going through having a look at what we've got, where we should go to, how we should handle the situation and it's probably going to be a little bit of an ongoing process until we can refine it. I don't necessarily want to put a, a separate pen to move stock to that. At this point in time we're struggling enough to feed the limit of pigs that we have when we get to a thousand pigs, but let's go in and have a look. Right, so we've got a thousand pigs, so we had full, full house, and we've got a lot of them that are, well, we've got lots of different ages, of course. They do breed very quickly. This is the the good thing and the thing that makes managing them a little bit, a little bit more tricking, tricky, not tricking, tricky. And of course, the older they get, the more valuable they get. So we've got some which are at 642 and they are 22 months old. And then you've got some which are little bit younger so that they're 22 months old we only have one of those probably one of the original stock that we bought and the porkers 120 so 16 months old they're worth about 470 so I think at this stage we're going to have to go through every day look to see how many we have look to see where we can get the breast you know, with those that we can get the best price for. I don't know whether we can afford, whether we've got enough space to be able to allow the bulk of the, the pigs to grow up to 22 months. It's going to be, it's going to take a long time before we realize the money from that. So we're probably going to have to gradually cry to, uh, increase that. Of course, the other thing is that some of them, they're just single, single pigs showing up um, on the on the manifest if you want to call it that and I want to try and keep the ones that are in bigger blocks so maybe 20 plus so that when you sell them so that we have less different pigs to scroll through if you get what I mean on the right hand side where we're scrolling down now to have um, just try and manage that so that it's not as as cumbersome and as big and to start with I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell all the Berkshires so we're going to because that's already giving us two different types of of pigs um, that each create their own their own little section so we're going to sell all the all the Berkshires even the piglets and that's how we'll realize our first bulk income. And you can see some of them are seven, some of them are nine, some of them are 12, some of them are 20. So we'll just see how, how that goes. We'll be then left with just land race pigs. And uh, we'll see how far we can get these down. Hopefully we can get these down to sort of below 500 and then in the next month, in next month, we'll just see exactly how many have been born. So we're starting to get some decent money for these, actually. So it's you know it's still two thousand or whatever. So four hundred and seventy. There we go. We've got eight of those. That's. So we don't want to sell them for nothing. But as I said, it may not be, it may be that we're not able to 
get them all the way up to full maturity. It might be that we need to wait until we hit full capacity and then look to see what the best price is for um, and sell the ones that are at the best price. Bearing in mind we also have to keep breeding stock to continue breeding so it may well be that we sell them at 16 months 16 months, 18 months, somewhere around there. Nine months old reproduction. So that at nine months they're already reprodu reproducing. So, so it's a question of keeping breeding stock, allowing stock to grow up to breeding stock. And also it's, um, we need to try and determine, I don't quite know how to do it, but to try and determine how many we need to keep as breeding stock so we might find that we need to we need we only need three or four hundred to be able to get to a thousand but then again that'll mean we'll have eventually have a lot of young ones that we are trying to sell so yeah i'm not quite sure how how to to handle it maybe that we need to get a, a, a second um, fattening area if you want to call it that put some pigs in there they're getting close to or they just need to be just need to grow up we'll see it'll be an interesting thing zero months obviously well, we're going to sell, all, as I said, we're going to sell all the Berkshires, whether they are serum and so. So we're down to 443. And we've realized about 90,000, I would just think. Um, yeah, so not to be scoffed at, a reasonable amount of money brought in there. Right, once that's done, we're going to get the harvest of the sunflower started and then we'll go and uh, make all our daily deliveries so we've got these two bottom fields to of sunflowers to harvest we're going to be continuously working on expanding our farm to create more fields to enable us to um, to get the pig farming running efficiently and as self-sufficient as possible. Right, that's that done with a trusty worker and we'll go and start making our deliveries. Right, so we've collected a whole lot of our fruits and productions from our greenhouses uh, except for the flowers and the and the mushrooms and we're delivering that through to our farmers market in the town square should bring in a nice little bit of income we've also got a bit of uh, bread and spaghetti of course or noodles whichever one whichever way you want to look at it fantastic we should be getting a fair amount of um, of income from all of these little bits and pieces oh yeah I say bits and pieces that's only because we make so much from the uh, from the flowers and the mushrooms but um, these are all vital 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 food stuff supplied to the town some stuff is going to make you more money than others and that's just the way it is get these delivered and then we'll nip on back and go and pick up some flowers and after that we will do the mushrooms but I think before that let's just go and sort out our I'll pick your own let's go and have a quick look and see how they're doing go and realize the money from from the folks of the town coming around and picking their own fruit 
luckily that's nice and close to her so we can just nip up this nice little cobbled driveway up to the parking area and place for people to sit and eat their delicious fruit so what we got apricots 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 however you want to say it get the trailer set up to pick them up yep, that's looking good three pellets each nice just having a quick look to see yeah we've got enough we've got enough stuff in there good enough stuff in there good enough supplies got enough compost and water just keep checking those every day when we come through some lovely plums and then we'll go and get the apples staple foods As it looks like we get three pellets from each each month so that gives us a nice little bit of income from these essentially uh, what's it four orchards apricots plums and two apples nice keeps our towns townsfolk nice and healthy well those that want to be of course <laughs> Right, get this back down to the, to the farmer's market. There has been some talk of the, of the town being expanded, some more houses being built, but we'll leave that to the to the town council to decide when that happens. There's a bit of capacity still in the in the infrastructure, uh, the supermarket and that type, type of stuff is um, can still accommodate a few more. Probably have to think about putting in a school. The kids of, of the town village still having to tra uh, travel to neighbouring towns to go and get themselves educated. Let's pick up the flowers and we'll go and get those delivered. This should bring in a reasonable amount of money. Very pleased I found those. And I've you know I've played many hours on No Man's Land in time that FS22 has been out and uh, I've never clocked those uh, those two little uh, um, well yeah those two greenhouses and yet they must have been there all the time fantastic they are and what I like about them is that they're slightly different products so it's not just um, you know the normal greenhouse product it's a different greenhouse product and that's, that's what makes it nice and, and diversified I suppose let's click the mushrooms and then get those delivered see our just put a glimpse of our Sunflower harvest going along quite nicely. We'll put the the product we get from the sunflower harvest di directly into the into the pig pen. It supplies the pro uh, the energy. Was it protein? I think it's the protein. It supplies the protein to the pigs. Yeah, so pigs are. Uh, a full-time job really 
and not the easiest of uh, of animals to keep fed. But we've got quite a bit of money here. We're going to just stop off at the bank, and we're going to make our first repayment of one of the bank loans. I think we need to do that occasionally. I mean, we don't. It's not huge. The bank loans is under a quarter of a million, but um, we pay this off. That's roughly a third of it of, of it taken care of. Make the payment, and we're down to 151,000 now. Very nice, and that's progress. That is progress, considering all the things that we have done as well. And I'm pretty happy about that. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.